Well, hi guys, and uh, welcome to another another video. Um, as a follow-up from the last one, uh, where we took the uh, carburetor out, <coughs> I will uh, I will show you how to get into into it uh, to perform uh, some cleaning. Uh, what I will start with is the the usual culprit, which is the uh, I, uh, all the jets in the chamber over here. It's called the float chamber, and it's uh, very simple uh, to t to take this apart. You only have three screws, and uh, once they are out, it should pop off nicely. So let's uh, let's undo the, those three screws and see what happens. So there we go, the uh, screws are off, so we should be able to just lift it. Now, um, what's not standard here is the the, uh, the red bit, and all there is basically is just a little bit of an extra extra uh, seal that I've uh, put on last time I had it apart, uh, just to make sure that it's uh, it seals properly. So that's uh, you can put this to the side. Bear in mind also while we are at it, um, bear in mind there are two seals here. One is the, black, the large black one here and there is also a round small one over here so make sure that doesn't that doesn't fall out somewhere on the floor because you, you need it later. Well, you need it all the time. Um, Right, so here we are inside the of the uh, the float chamber, where we have the float, the uh, needle valve in there, and we have our uh, our jets. That's the main one. That's the pilot one, and uh, we have the, uh, the, um, the air valve here to regulate the the mixture as well. Which at the moment, well, that's pretty much the only, the only tricky bit here, because you have to count the number of turns you turn in, and turn out. Um, but um, just to get ourselves inside, uh, what we'll do, uh, something small on the hinge over here. Just push push the road out a little bit. It comes out this end. should be able to grab it with something, a tiny, a tiny little thing, there we go, and pull it out, it's not secured by anything, it's just a simple rod, put it on the side, and right now you can take the, uh, the float out, and you will take it out together with the uh, with the valve as well. There you go, we can take it apart. So that's one bit. Be careful not to bend this, because this regulates how far it leans. Uh, let's play later. And that's our uh, that's our float valve. Tiny little thing. Looks nothing like the pictures on the on eBay or anything where you order it. It looks massive, but it's actually not. Um, right. Um, so, next thing I'm going to take out is the uh, is the actual the body of the of the valve. And to take this one out, it takes a little bit of uh, 
little bit of force, but be careful. By all means, never ever grab it by putting your your tool inside. You need to leave the inside unscratched, so you just grab it by the outside and just pull it out. As the inside needs to be nice and smooth. So you have here the uh, you have here the the whole valve seat. It comes with a with a tiny mesh filter. The fil it comes off if you want. Uh, the O-ring and basically that's one of the places where you should perform your cleaning as well. And the uh, next thing, take a screwdriver. We're gonna undo the uh, the jets. Be very gentle with that. That's the pilot. That's the main, at least bit of it. And that's the rest of it. There's, an, there's another inside. I don't. I'm not sure whether I can take this one out as well. It doesn't look like I can. That's where the uh, the main needle from from the other side comes out comes in. Um, and that's as far as I will go in terms of the uh, the float chamber and uh, if you uh, if you have a good look uh, the, the, you have quite a few areas um, to spray the uh, the carb cleaner through so you can have a, a proper play now on the other side what we can take out as well and inspect if something's going wrong is this bit over here so in here we'll be getting to uh, the uh, the needle jet the diaphragm and the diaphragm specifically for the diaphragm really just to uh, to check and make sure it's not it's not cracked it doesn't have any holes in it now, it's also a good idea to hold it in as you do it because it's spring loaded So let go gently. That's one bit. There's the spring. And inside you have the, uh, the jet needle. So you take some, some sort of a tool, grab it. Well, it's not, it wasn't supposed to come out like that, but that will do as well. Uh, it needs to come out from this seat over here. Came out partially. That's alright. That's one bit of it. And just push the push through the rest of it as well. There it is. And that is your diaphragm that you'll be having a closer look at to make sure 
it is still in good condition and that it actually uh, doesn't have any pinholes or anything like that and then um, right another thing we're taking up apart is the uh, the funnel there's two screws here normally stuck quite badly I'd say because I had it apart already they are fairly okay that comes out and inside here we got two air jets that we can we can take out as well uh, for cleaning and that's number two so that again gives you access where you can spray your carb cleaner through efficiently. While we are at it, we will remove the uh, casting valve cover. And be careful with this one as well, as it is spring loaded. So gently, and I mean very gently because you have a diaphragm underneath here. There you go. That lifts up. And you should be able to take the diaphragm off as well. I don't think I need to tell you how careful you need to be with that little fella. go and as a, you can see the tiny ball bearing over there and you have extra passages here um, to take care of right so I think that's uh, as far as this assembly goes that's it really um, I'm not touching the uh, throttle uh, positioning sensor I'm not touching the uh, the heater as well right one more thing we'll take we'll take out is the uh, your air jet and uh, normally you do it by if you haven't done it before uh, you do it by turning the screw all the way in and you count how many turns you do until it's seated and then you can take it out the reason for that is to make sure that you will actually undo it the same amount of time set it to the right positioning once you put it back in. So the trick would be if you had it out, well before you have it out, just count number of turns until it's seated and then you'll take it out. I know exactly how much that is. And then we'll be, you'll be, when you'll be screwing it back in, you screw it all the way in until it's slightly seated and then unscrew the number of turns that you counted in the first place. And that should take you to the exact same place where you've been. And there it is. It's another passage for you to clean. Um, be careful not to not to lose anything, because there is a there is a a, a, a O-ring on it. And uh, well, this one looks like it's requiring my attention, so I'll be cracking on with that as well. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not showing. I won't be showing the. Uh, the cleaning process as I'll be effectively just spraying the carb cleaner through all those jets and passages and let it soak for a, for a while and then I'll be putting everything back together in the uh, in the reverse order um, so thank you very much for watching I thought that I hope that that's been informative for you uh, if, if you're thinking about disassembling the carb for your for the first time 
Uh, I think you've you've seen it's not that difficult. It's just literally a few screws, few few uh, few hoses, and uh, and you're done, and you're ready to go with the cleaning. Something that you'll be paying probably quite a bit of money for. Uh, so uh, crack on, try it out. If you've managed, uh, leave a comment. Tell me how it went. I'll be really happy to hear from you. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There'll be more videos coming. And as usual, thank you very much. And uh, see you next time.